colleague Ed Dranch has been following it all for us from Albany and joins us live tonight from the state capitol. Good evening to you, Ed. Jeff and Ashley, good evening to you. There's a lot of change coming to New York State, all from the second floor of the state capitol building where the governor's office is located. As you mentioned, those school mandates coming out from Governor Hochul late this afternoon, but those are just some of her day one priorities. I want people to believe in their governor again. Governor Kathy Hochul signaling a tidal wave of change is en route to Albany with shock waves soon to be felt statewide. And that begins with a dramatic change in culture with accountability and no tolerance for individuals who cross the line. Less than a day after former Governor Andrew Cuomo resigned in disgrace, Governor Hochul says she will mandate new sexual harassment training for workers. I'm directing an overhaul of state government policies on sexual harassment and ethics, starting with requiring that all training be done live instead of allowing people to click their way through a class. She says transparency will be the hallmark of her administration, though during her first public appearance in a ceremonial swearing in, Hochul took few questions, One providing little today. policy direction before walking out to applause. <laughs> but Hochul later said she plans to work with leaders across the state to emerge from this COVID-19 pandemic as the Delta variant spreads. I believe that with every fiber of my body, that this is our time, our time to escape the oppression of a deadly virus. Collaboration is key in the governor's three-pronged approach outlined as day one priorities, mandating masks in schools for everyone, increasing vaccination rates statewide, and preparing for and distributing COVID booster shots fast. How much progress has been made, but too many are yet not vaccinated, putting themselves and their communities at risk. I'm prepared to do whatever is necessary, including reopening mass vac sites so a booster is available to all New Yorkers who meet that timetable. Hochul says now is the time to get New Yorkers back to work, helping small businesses and creating new jobs for New Yorkers hit hard by the pandemic, especially women in the workplace. It's our time to unleash the power of New York's women and make sure that any barriers to success and opportunity are eradicated once and for all. The governor, the first female paying tribute to women who've paved the way before her, wearing white as a nod to the suffragettes, explaining it's the dawn of a new day in the state of New York. Governor Hochul says she's spoken with President Biden, who has pledged his full support for her administration. As for more policies and procedures, Governor Hochul says we can expect more soon. Reporting live in downtown Albany tonight, Ed Ranch, 7 Eyewitness News. And Ed, we thank you for your reporting tonight.